the, uh, the European process within health technology assessment is uh, now at a stage where we have tools developed that we can apply together. Uh, we should acknowledge that um, there is a big variation in Europe. It has already been addressed too, uh, in terms of uh, economic capabilities, the, uh, the strengths of the, the health systems, etc. And also the mechanisms behind decision making are, are varying a lot. But there are also a lot of similarities. It's important to note that all the member states of the EU participate in our network and we have a division now of work so that the network I represent, UNETA, European Network for Health Technology Assessment, is the scientific and technical network. There's also a policy network established according to European legislation and that is now moving ahead with defining policies in this area. So from our point of view, this is a very positive development because we are uh, at the starting point people who are uh, assessing scientific information and applying rigorous methods of seeing what is actually the evidence here. And um, so uh, we, I refer to a number of tools. We have now uh, tools for assessing, rapidly assessing drugs as well as uh, other interventions like uh, medical devices. So it's important at this point to underline, uh, as you probably all know, that when we do our assessments, we're not focused only on drugs. But obviously, drugs are constantly under discussion, and clearly we hear that in this country. So a remark from my side on how you move ahead, it seems as a Danish person, uh, and Danes try to be practical, it seems to be appropriate to start with looking at the drugs because this is something that you need to do something about because it's constantly in the public debate. However, you are also confronted with many decisions about application of other interventions, the procurement of, uh, of um, expensive uh, uh, devices for the hospitals, etc. And in fact, when you start to go into assessing, say, cancer drugs, uh, you may have a mechanism of a relatively rapid assessment of the individual drug, but do keep in mind also that it has consequences for the system, not only for the immediate treatment of the patient. For example, what kind of diagnostic uh, uh, mechanisms and pathways do we need to have in place in order actually to be able to provide this drug so that it has the best possibilities of working. Um, I will be going a little more into discussion about the, the, the link up between the national and the European in a moment. But uh, I mentioned uh, the different tools we developed. Uh, we also, bef be before the end of this year, able to share an overview of the current submission practices on drugs and devices. So many countries have mechanisms of how to handle when companies want to get uh, a drug or a device uh, used. And um, we are developing a common template that is actually taking the things out of these different uh, requirements into some, some core that seems to be covering nearly all then there might be some national differences. I consider this to be a, a major step forward because in many countries, indeed, the mechanism is that the assessment is based on submissions, like here, I guess. Uh, in terms of who participate, uh, we have uh, HAS, the eQuick, we have uh, NICE, we have sort of everybody on board, and they're all active. NICE is leading the work on this submission template work. Uh, EQUIC is doing work, uh, leading work on guidelines for assessment. HAS is leading important work on additional data collection and early uh, advice. So um, we see all participating. Now who are then those that seem to be most prone and ready to take the direct outputs like common assessments and put them into a national mechanism. So from the first wave, we could say it's the middle-sized countries and some of the new member states that 
have some mechanisms where they actually can take this information into a national process. So what I see uh, for Romania in the coming uh, time is that um, moving forward from the current uh, handling of things, which seems again sensible, uh, why not go further into this common work, the common uh, core assessment information that is coming from the European network, and then establish the national mechanism to include more national information. I mean, you don't need to do the review again of the published studies, the, the clinical studies, but you might have a need to have capacity to analyze more uh, the consequences for the system and the consequences for the patients. Because I believe that the situation of the patient is different in this country from, for example, France or UK. And the organization of care, again, might be the Achilles heel for the real effect of, uh, of new interventions.